In today's video, I'm going to let you in on an extremely time sensitive crypto airdrop that you can complete right now for free. This is what is considered a testnet airdrop, meaning it doesn't cost anything to complete the steps I'm about to outline in today's video, but could result in a nice airdrop for all participants of the testnet. I want this channel to be all about giving you guys access to the latest crypto alpha and opportunities. That's why I thought I would get in ahead of the curve here and remind you about this airdrop. So especially everyone with notifications turned on will be in an extremely good place to qualify for this airdrop. Now this particular airdrop comes underneath the sector of Bitcoin DeFi. This is one of my most bullish sectors for 2024. And over the next few months, there are going to be, in my opinion, genuine 50 to 100 X launches in the Bitcoin DeFi world. It's a super hot narrative, but I'm also excited because it's only the beginning of Bitcoin DeFi and BRC20 as it's a relatively new standard, which is yet to really see mass adoption, which obviously means the projects which can position themselves early with critical Bitcoin DeFi infrastructure, they're said to be big winners. I'm doing a full video on Bitcoin DeFi and BRC20 in a couple days. So to make sure you don't miss that video, click the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and hit the post notification bell so you're updated every time I upload a video. That one's gonna be a good one because I'm gonna give you my favorite altcoin picks from the BRC20 narrative. I'm gonna break down the entire sector for you so you can understand it. And I'm also gonna share my personal approach for investing in that sector. But today I have two projects in that sector that I want to discuss. The first one, of course, is the one with the airdrop opportunity for you being on testnet and you can interact with it right now. I'm going to show you the steps today. And the second project is one that I'm going to talk about at the very end of the video. So if you stick around, make sure to stay tuned for that. And it's a project that I'm very excited about in this niche that I was going to reveal in a couple of days in the BRC20 video, but I thought, stuff it, why not just give you the alpha today, let you in on the project because there's only a couple of days left to apply for their IDO. So I thought I would bring it to you early uh, to make sure that you actually have a chance of getting in if you're watching this video now versus in a couple of days uh, when you won't be able to get in anymore. So that's why it's always important to have notifications on uh, so I can give you the latest crypto alpha on this channel. And there's so, so much to come over the next few weeks, but let's crack on with the airdrop guide. And this is for a project called Satoshi VM. Satoshi VM is a decentralized Bitcoin ZK rollup layer two that is compatible with the EVM ecosystem and uses native Bitcoin as gas. So it definitely has a lot going for it. It allows you to interact with Bitcoin DeFi using the EVM ecosystem, but it also offers scalability for the Bitcoin network using ZK proofs and leveraging data availability to offer a much cheaper DeFi experience. And I think it pretty much hits the nail on the head when it comes to the hot narrative right now. ZK rollups are super hot. Bitcoin DeFi is super hot. And it also comes in a niche, which I think is relatively underdeveloped compared to other niches in crypto because still the infrastructure is lacking for Bitcoin DeFi. So this type of applications uh, certainly go a long way to fleshing out the ecosystem, uh, which of course is still in its relatively early stages. So this product hasn't even launched yet. So the token for Satoshi VM is set to launch in three days from when I'm recording this video. So January 19th is their first IDO and then they have their second launch on the Ape Terminal launch pad. But for now, this token isn't liquid in the market. But what they have done is they've made their testnet public to users to interact with. And they have suggested that there's going to be an airdrop for people that interact with the network. Of course, because it's testnet, it means it's free to complete. And in my opinion, thus becomes a very high risk reward activity or a plus EV activity for you to complete because you're only going to have to pay a tiny bit of gas fees. You're not using real funds for the actual bridging process itself. Um, and it doesn't take long at all. You can complete the steps in five to 10 minutes, but you could potentially land a Satoshi VM airdrop. So obviously one way to get involved would be through the launch pads. I'll, I'll touch on that in today's video, but one way you can get involved is simply get your hands on the token itself, 
uh, via an airdrop. So let's talk about that now. So the first thing you're going to need is a Bitcoin DeFi wallet. My personal favorite wallet is Unisat. If you go onto the unisat.io forward slash download website, by the way, all the links to the resources will be left in the description below via my Twitter post, which has all of the resources. If you go to the website, you can go onto wallet on the second tab here, and you can essentially download and set up a Unisat wallet for your Chrome browser. Now it'll prompt you to essentially copy your seed phrase and verify your wallet once that's complete. What you wanna do is you wanna click on settings, then you wanna click on network and change it from live net to test net because we're going to be using the Bitcoin test net in order to interact with the ecosystem. By the way, when you create an account, you wanna select native SegWit. You can also use Taproot, but I would recommend just going with the default settings for the wallet. Now what you wanna do once your Bitcoin wallet is set up, you wanna go onto the Bitcoin faucet, which is a developer tool that enables you to get testnet Bitcoin. And you wanna copy in your Bitcoin address from the new wallet that you just created into the faucet and then select the amount of Bitcoins that you want to receive. Remember, this isn't real Bitcoin. This is essentially testnet Bitcoin. This can sometimes take 10 to 15 minutes to appear in your wallet. So if it's taking some time to reflect in your wallet, don't worry, this is very, very normal. After the tokens have officially hit your wallet, now what you wanna do is go across to the Satoshi VM testnet. If you go onto bridge.satoshivm.io, once again, I'll leave a link to the resources in the description. You can see here, you can bridge assets from the Bitcoin testnet to the Satoshi testnet. What you wanna do is connect your wallet and bridge the Bitcoin that you just got from the faucet from the Bitcoin network over to the Satoshi network. This can take between 30 to 60 minutes to complete. So you might just want to set this transaction on your computer, go away and do something else and then come back to it. And it's as simple as that. That is all you have to do to get testnet Bitcoin tokens onto Satoshi. Now, what I would suggest doing is bridging them back to the Bitcoin testnet after you've bridged them over to Satoshi. It just builds up a little bit of bridging volume uh, and gets that extra interaction in just in case it is a requirement for the airdrop. Simply click on withdraw and you can take it back from the Satoshi VM testnet back to the Bitcoin testnet. That's all you need to do on the testnet Bitcoin side. Now let's go over to the Ethereum testnet side because they also have an SAVM, which is their native token bridge for Ethereum. So ETH just like Bitcoin, uh, except you can use a MetaMask wallet for this or a Rabi wallet or whatever you use in the EVM ecosystem, requires you to get Fawcett Ethereum. So what you want to do is go on to the sepoliafaucet.com, enter your wallet address, and then simply click send me ETH. In order to do this, you will need to sign up or log in with Alchemy, which is free to sign up for. So once you sign up, then you can send ETH directly to your wallet using the faucet. Now, the reason you're doing that is to get fees to process the transaction that will enable you to bridge their native testnet token. To get their native testnet token, after you've gotten the Ethereum tokens, click on the TSAVM faucet, connect your wallet, and then just like Ethereum, you'll be able to request faucet tokens that you can then transfer from the Ethereum Sepolia network to the Satoshi VM testnet. So let me repeat that. You wanna get Ethereum first from the Ethereum Sepolia faucet. Then you wanna go down and click on TSAVM faucet. Get those tokens. Once you've got those tokens, then you wanna bridge them across from ETH to the Satoshi network. And just like Bitcoin, what you wanna do is also withdraw some of those tokens back to the original network just to build up a little bit more bridging volume. Now, at the time of recording this video, this is all you can do on testnet. So you're currently pretty much at the top level of what you can achieve in terms of getting an airdrop right now. However, I do believe over the next days and weeks, there are going to be more features rolling out, like swaps, inscriptions, etc. And I do expect the team to give a larger airdrop to the people that are consistently interacting with the testnet. So if you're watching this video today, interact with the testnet, play around, it's free to do. You're not wasting money, you're only wasting a little bit of time. Once you've spent that time, Definitely keep an eye out because there's going to be new features launching that will enable you to do more on testnet and thus 
give yourself a chance to receive an even bigger airdrop. If you go into the Satoshi VM test at Explorer, you can see that there's only 60,000 wallet addresses that have interacted. So, so far, I wouldn't say it's a super diluted airdrop, although over the coming days and weeks, there will be more people that end up onboarding into the ecosystem. So as that happens to stay ahead of the curve, I would definitely keep up to date with new testnet features. Now I'm going to explain how the actual token launch is going to play out for those interested in the token. Before I get into that, and of course at the end of the video, I'm going to be revealing a bonus token, which I'm super bullish on in this niche and is going to feature in my full dedicated video in a couple days. I want to announce that we actually are doing an official Miles airdrop uh, with BitGet. So if you want to sign up for a BitGet account right now, you can get access to a $10 airdrop literally just for signing up and completing KYC. You'll get $10 airdropped into your account. And all you need to do to access that airdrop is sign up using the link in the description. You'll also still get access to the BitGet Reward Center, which allows you to spin the lucky wheel to win USDT prizes, as well as other crypto prizes, as well as claim your welcome pack for signing up with the exchange. So if you use my link, you're not disqualified uh, from the other $1,000 welcome pack promotion that they've got going on, but it's also an additional airdrop for you guys that end up supporting me and signing up through my link. So there's a link in the description below if you want to trade any cryptocurrency, buy, sell any cryptocurrency. Um, you can use that link, get access to the airdrop as well as the $1,000 welcome back. All right, so now I want to touch on the token. What I would recommend doing is following them on Twitter so you don't miss any major announcements. I would also join their Discord. Uh, I always recommend doing this with any projects you're investing in or farming in so you always stay up to date with what they're working on. Their official launch is happening on two launch pads on Friday. Bounce will officially launch the token. You'll need the auction token ready to participate in the initial IDO over on Bounce. And then you also have an IDO on Ape Terminal, which is obviously one of the best performing launch pads over the past few months. So if you want access to the Satoshi VM token, you can do it over there as well. All you need to do is click participate now. Registration ends, by the way, in less than two days from the time of recording this video. Go through the steps to register so you can get access to the token at launch. Not everyone will get access to the token. You need to be lucky and essentially be chosen as part of their snapshot. And then they have a lottery process which picks the winners because obviously this token can 20, 30, 50, even 100x out of the gates. So they can't give that to everyone, right? They have to um, have a lottery system in place so only some people will get it. But if you do want to participate, I'll leave a link in the description below to Ape Terminal as well um, because they're obviously launching the IDO. Um, it'll also be on major exchanges. But this is a way for you to get in at a much cheaper price versus actual exchanges. Of course, though, on top of that, you've got the free test that airdrop, which will enable you to hopefully um, get some additional tokens and full disclosure, because I always like to be transparent. I am an investor in the Satoshi VM project. Uh, I really like what they're doing. And I decided to come on board as an early investor. There is one more project, though, that's launching soon that I'm bullish on that I wanted to discuss in today's video. Just before we get into that, I want to give a quick shout out to the official partner of today's show, which is M2. M2 is a new exchange, a fully regulated exchange based out of Abu Dhabi, which offers all the standard features an exchange offers. So the ability to buy crypto, sell crypto, but also their earn program, which basically enables you to earn yield on crypto assets. So as you can see right now, through the exchange, you can get up to 11% on Tether, 10.5% on Bitcoin, 10.5% on Ethereum, 10% on a bunch of other altcoins, and this is baked into the exchange itself. These are fixed plans. So these require you to lock up for a period of time. However, if you want flexible plans where you can just withdraw and deposit whenever you want, there's also some nice APRs across their pools there too. So if you want to earn money and grow your crypto, you can do so over on M2. Or of course, you can just trade spot uh, and you can get access to a variety of trading pairs that they do have on the exchange. And as you can see in front of you, if you do want to use the earn feature of the app, you can also do so on mobile, which is an easy to use interface for you to start growing your crypto. And I also want to say that they have some big backers and they're one of the first regulated exchanges in the UAE. 
and His Excellency Hisham Khalid Malak is the chairman of the board. He's the undersecretary of the Abu Dhabi Department of Finance, chairman of the Abu Dhabi Securities Exchange, and a bunch of other big institutions in the UAE. So they have legit people behind them, and they have big backers, and that's why it's an exchange that I'll be using. If you do want to use it, you can use the link in the description below to access the exchange, and also access, of course, the earn function, which will allow you to earn money uh, on your crypto assets, which is super cool, and I think they are some of the best single-sided pools in crypto. So I did say at the end, I would reveal a token that I am currently watching in the BRC20 narrative, and that is BFI Labs. The best way I would describe them is the woo of the Bitcoin network. They essentially synthesize BRC20 trading and allow you to trade BRC20 and ordinals using your preferred wallet with zero fees as you can see in front of you. It's going to be absolutely amazing to finally get access to these assets in an exchange like this. Um, that'll be really easy to trade and offer instant liquidity in the ecosystem with no trading fees. So I really, really, really can't wait for this product to launch because as you guys know, I'm super bullish on BRC20 to have an exchange like this launch and enable cross-chain markets with low trading fees. Um, is absolutely fantastic. So this is a project that I'm looking out for. Now, there is a bit of alpha here. They are also launching on Ape Terminal. You've got two more days to take part in the registration for this IDO. And that's, of course, why you should have the notification bell turned on for this channel because a lot, a lot of this stuff is time sensitive. Uh, but right now you can uh, participate and maybe get your hands on a, a lottery snapshot for the BFI Labs launch. This is also a project I'm invested in and uh, super, super bullish on and is one that's gonna be in my video in a couple of days time. But of course, by the time that video is out, this will be ending. So I wanted to kind of front run it a little bit and give you um, a chance to potentially get in via the launch pad before it even launches. So Satoshi and BFI are two that I'm watching. Um, of course, Satoshi has the airdrop um, BFI doesn't yet. It may actually have one once it launches. If it does, I'll make sure to keep you updated. But for now, I'm sure you have your hands full with the Satoshi VM testnet airdrop farming. So super excited for my next video, which is of course going to be the whole Bitcoin DeFi landscape breakdown, including my top picks from the sector. It's a sector I'm extremely bullish on and hopefully not only yields great uh, results for token holders, but also airdrop farmers as lots of these new protocols are now starting to deploy. So it will certainly lead, in my opinion, to a lot of opportunities in this vertical. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.